The rivers are spitting uh, more of the trash uh, this morning, but it's important trash, and I would want to touch that one. Here's what it is. Meghan Merkel was a lovely uh, back in university and showed people around says actress. Royals injured poor Royals injured. Love this one, nothing more than this one. Love it. Love this love this picture because this is what prince william rated me i threw him under the bus this was in 99 then they prince william also brought me here uh basically drugged up helpless like uncle tom you know who uncle tom is uncle tom If you're gonna read my complaint, in case you're gonna read my complaint, you realize it's explained. I saved his daddy ass an entire Western delegation, literally put them in advantage in a 1996 placing at risk my own head paid most severely I possibly could you're gonna read this stuff here you understand what I did what I was and uh, brought to London brought to London like an animal drugged up totally mistreated humiliated like in front of the kid with expectations that I would dis display in their face hmm, some sort of um, disconcerting, humiliating behavior based on their injuries. This is what the royals literally through the torture expected from me so that I will ridicule myself whatever uh, it was a time when I was 27 years old professional adult look at my education background and look at a little bum over there Now, no, when I say a bum, I mean bum. I mean bums. I literally mean bums. When I say bum, I literally mean non-intellectual bum. Uneducated, simple bums from London that somehow could not understand because of their entitlement, because of the titles they held, because they had the titles, that there is a normal people out there drugged up, that there is a normal people out there who are without titles. I just could not understand that somebody without the title can display a complete, um, basically, fuck off in their face, in their faces. They, they couldn't understand any of that. These people could not understand any of that. These people did not understand what is written on my complaint.
well described in my complaint, that I saved their ass, that I placed them in a position, that I rescued my head, that I was bitten up, life-threatened, fuck that life-threatened. Life-threatened means to me nothing. What means to you to, for somebody to life-threaten you? Drugged up. You know what is to be drugged up, life-threatened? Did you guys ever thought about that stuff? I'm not talking about the royals, this is a scum. I'm talking to the people, regular people without titles. Because royals think the only people, human beings in this world, are people with the titles. Beaten up, time and again, brought to Belarus, brought to Russia, brought to Serbia, brought to Bosnia, in a war ditches, on a front lines where the bullets flew. and brought back to London to face this shit here. To face this little garbage, this little fucking scum privileged with a broken hand, boy. 27 year old professional. To see a hero with a broken arm. Who, by the way, expected Obviously, I have no idea what the fuck did he expected. My big compassion, I have no fucking idea. What do you do when you break your arm? By the way, this does look pathetic. You know, I grew up in a school with the kids that would have injuries like this all the time. And you know, it's just go about it, you do your stuff. You go, you know what I mean? You understand? You go and you go about it. You go about the life. You don't make a scene. You don't goof on the streets, bring somebody drugged up with idea in front of you to embarrass him, to get the statements from him. You don't do that kind of stuff. This shit goes back to 99. It was William, the first one, who initiated one. Okay, so since I see more dirty stuff here thrown out, and since this is about what Charles referred to me, because in 99 I told a dear royals in London to fuck off. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. Once I saw this here, this stuff here, this one, William, I told them, listen, fuck off we're done i don't want to have nothing to do with you charles got upset they took me away very shortly because i didn't want to have nothing to do with him no more charles said also i don't want to have nothing to do with you anymore came to the u.s and met this woman here this who, however, also had a royal title in the U.S., what Charles referred to as, but we have also royals in the U.S., hey, you gotta make a trouble to you. We gonna, we can do the problem like this to you too. Okay, let me explain to you something. Yeah, said so this is what this was. This, this royals from Buckingham Palace is like a, to put a, Plain and simple, it's like a death that would follow you around. Uh, whatever you were, whatever I was, and this shit would come on a picture, the life would turn into a crap. Uh, in Europe, there were quite a few really beautiful ladies I agreed to have relationship with. They destroyed. They destroyed, they left people dead, even. Uh, people that would not comply with them, they would rip them apart. These people, this, this people are life destroyers, a cancer. A uh, trauma they caused me is actually impossible. These people destroyed my life, annihilated my life. And attempted to present themselves to the, also to the world of Hollywood as the victims of this case. 
this royal in Chicago I am going to take a view of 1999 my personal view uh, under NK Ultra my I don't know I don't know but why would you go uh, and Meghan Merkel was the girl that was pushed on the picture to me already in 1997 very 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 early during MK Ultra she must have been 16 years old at the time if not maybe even younger already participated in MK Ultra in the US why would this royal uh, pushed her in my face again in 99 insisting me uh, in two years early 97 I said no to Meghan Merkel it was no these people I have no idea what is going on I don't even know who these people are who are these people from Meghan Merkel? Who are these people? Why are these people in the picture, on MK Ultra picture so early? Uh, did, do these people actually have some kind of titles, something? I am asking if they have some kind of, if the father from Meghan Merkel uh, has something do they have some kind of titles I think they talk to me about some kind of a distant whatever who are these people first of all why did this girl this Meghan Merkel again appeared at this time at this university and I had this oh she was already obviously I don't know 19 years old I have no idea how old she was uh, royal American royal insists in me that uh, that she has someone that uh, she wants me to meet that I will like 100% you know marriage wise something to what I said to her no I don't want to have none why why the fuck would I have that what, what for I mean I have the really really beautiful ladies if you ask me Meghan Merkel is completely non-attractive to me what is it that that uh, this neo-nazi garbage American woman this white royal what the fuck did she want to tell me? What is it that she... Wh what was here this neo-Nazi bitch wanted from me? What, what is it that the fuck do you want from me? What, what were you trying to say, you neo-Nazi garbage? What? What? Meghan Merkel, obviously, yes, I realize she was not white. Now, non-white women are very beautiful too, for that matter but who the fuck are you to go and push somebody a woman of color in the face based on something that followed me from london like a death like a wherever i would go it would just be all the relationship including from my country from slovenia the impact the destroyed the relationship or whatever was a beautiful woman i would say yes i would be interested in woman cried these people from london made women literally cry i didn't even know i realized what went on that everywhere this garbage went every, everything was falling apart around me everything everything turned into shit. <laughs>
people came with the with idea to invest through me, basically to put me in the same saddle like Elon Musk, other Jimbos, you see. Uh, these people got involved and that nothing ever came through. They destroyed, they, they ruined everything possibly they could. I realized in 99 when I already told this no, and this neo-Nazi Jimbo just keep pressing with racial tensions, with racial issues, literally bringing Meghan Merkel in my face, insisting me, hey, this is what's going to be your wife. This is the one. This is, I want you to meet this and that. <sighs> oh. What uh, exactly is supposed to mean this kind of tensions creating between the people? I think I have explained myself as no. For instance, I said to Mike Tyson's daughter, yes, she is much darker complexion than Meghan Merkel. This depends on the person, who the fuck are you that you go and you are like some kind of a dating agency or something. Listen, I'm not fucking British. I'm Eastern European, I'm from Slovenia. I didn't go to Britain. I didn't go to Britain, I was brought to Britain. I didn't want to be in Britain. I didn't want to be even in this fucking Buckingham Palace. I didn't want to be around you anywhere. Remember, in 99, we made a deal. We're not going to be around each other. And William would jump in. They would come from London to this campus, literally. He insisted me. What is this? They said, what did this guy think he is? Katie Couric stated that uh, Prince Harry met Meghan Merkel. He, do you remember the article? It's right here. Look. What the fuck? What is this all about? What this shit is all about? These people obviously don't keep track of what they write even, or what they state even. <laughs> that, he was, uh, that he was a joke addict and uh, that she that she met Prince Harry in 2016. Boy, that's like a 17 years. Too late, man. 17 years, look, billion. You know, William, Prince William, that's a brother of Prince Harry. They were at this campus right here. Look, at this campus here. At this campus here, at Northwestern University, they were here. They went through entire campus. I was with them. We walked campus back and forth everywhere we went. See this? So, Katie Couric is late when she stated the two met in 2016. No, no, no. They met way, way, way earlier. They met way earlier. They met... Meghan Merkel is 40. Uh, Prince Harry is 37. 22 years ago, she was 18. And Prince Harry was 15, more or less, whatever, doesn't matter. The two knew each other. These two kids knew each other very, very well, actually. They got to know each other very well. So, it would be good that you updated the information. This girl did not appeal to me, not like this, not like that. You should see the women interested in me and in US and in Europe never mind British even they were British but because you know this is 
a private property of Buckingham Palace because it's just a pencil in a pocket of a royals from London you know that this is this is just a private property private real estate and people are just British are just uh, just seeing this from the eyes of Buckingham Palace how they saw me basically they saw me like a dog like like nothing basically definitely not like a human being uh as you know seeing from their view seeing this stuff from their side and this royal here also for me personally being very unappealing non-attractive i was completely disinterested in her as well um all these women and in slovenia there was a bunch of beautiful women that they would not allow me to have for the sake of this shit here that went on for the sake of this political stuff but otherwise women in slovenia yeah and also in poland too there was also a woman in poland um there were women in germany the first woman i was completely crazy about i have fallen for in norway and it was also in italy and it was all over the place who the hell are these royals not who the hell i am but who the fuck are these people to treat someone <laughs> make no mistake make no mistake this war from charles was very 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 empty-handed this this was very very short charlie went on his knees in front of angela merkel very very shortly after that he could not other but lick the floor in front of angela merkel in front of the germans <laughs> just to get back on my picture things didn't go things didn't go well for charlie he couldn't do he couldn't do what he thought he's gonna do without me he couldn't do fucking shit without someone he referred to as a dog it was uh, the russians it was everybody that wanted me on a picture and the little charlie from britannia couldn't do shit without me so again this death from britain went after me and against started to ruin my life even further more and more and more decay in my life unfortunately i wouldn't want to fucking know you ever because you are the worst of the worst you are a cancer you are a fucking brain cancer you are the worst that ever happened to me in my life to be exact about you who you are royals from britain and so unfortunately that i couldn't get away from this psychopaths from this cannibal island as much as i wanted to as far as megan merkel megan merkel was a very very sweet girl this is a very nice girl already in 97 but i was not interested in she was not my type I had a, such a beautiful woman already from beginning of MK Ultra. You have no clue. In 95, in 96 already, a whole bunch of beautiful women was interested in matrimony with me. It, it, this matrimonies would go definitely through if it wasn't for this Buckingham Palace people. These people, you know, these people ruined everything. They had no chance whatsoever for anything. I'm saying this because they referred to Polish psychologists 
they refer to Israeli girl also who was involved and I was also interested in they, they, they involved to they, they refer to this they refer to them uh, as a dead following you around as dead following you around fuck that <laughs> the real dead that followed me around was the one from London that was a dead that followed me that stalked me around 24 7 that was a, a cholera whatever you want to say whatever kind of disease you would want to refer to that stalked me from one continent even to another they would not let go it became obsession and for that reason i think these people are mentally ill too i think they have some kind of degenerated genes inside of them i think they carry some kind of disease with them some kind of obsession some kind of who knows what the fuck is going on with this interbreeds what i think i'm going to be very very specific about the buckingham palace about the london i want to be very very specific about this stuff what exactly happened with this no i did not discover america in 99 definitely not um thanks so much for reminding me about all that stuff uh come on reminded me you know the shit is gonna come out and it's gonna look ugly as hell like nothing so far for you for your dynasty you know all this dirty wash is gonna come out all these skeletons are gonna fall out of your closet in front of the world and the world will see you in your might exactly for who and what you are in your whole greatness entitlement you know if you read my complaint you know exactly what I mean because it's described for every millimeter how it is I don't know what else I would add to this stuff this this college this this college it appeared more to me like a college it doesn't matter university I remember very well from 99 every I remember inside how it was I went with a billion back and forth I can forgive kids kids are kids I understand but the point here is that the one who made kids crazy that was a grandma that was a papa Charles that was a, you know remember the money issue in 98 in 98 all of a sudden Charles and Harry said actually maybe even in 97 man you're gonna be rich we we were inside of the kitchen in 97 it was we were inside of the kitchen we ate all together I was jerked up, of course, and it was about the money, talk about the money, and the two kids, the two kids liked me, and they really liked me, these kids liked me, they liked me, and they said, man, you're going to be rich, and I said, really, you know, yes, you're going to be rich. These kids, these kids, huh, I like these kids. I like these royal kids. I like them. I like them because they were just kids, you know. They were just kids like a kids. But these kids, these kids were... I felt special kids, in a way. I felt they were special because they liked me, for one thing. They liked me. They liked me without selfishness. There was no selfishness in our relationship until 97. It was just uh, kids, like kids. 
it was um there was no you know i learned from this case that if there is something that can be some kind of issue that this issue is not clarified in the heads of the kids it can go into a huge problem uh this is this kind of issues i'm referring to and the issues also in the heads of grown-ups that can develop into severe mental problems if not resolved they're resulting all kinds of uh you know side effects otherwise they really would not um, but the relationship between us, between Harry, William, and myself, was exceptional. Um, for them, I was like, I definitely, I was one of them. Ninety-seven. You know, that's somewhere. The Diana was gone from the picture the kids would see me like um, like I like I said man you're gonna be rich like this uh, like good you know what, what is good for you is good for us basically in that sense you know what I mean that's like really good good you know like happy happy for me basically this is how they were and so i felt like really good around them too um i felt like <clears throat> i had a strong confidence because of these kids i like these kids i like kids in general you know but these kids gave me like a clean perception about something otherwise i i couldn't uh, participate uh, as equal but uh, it give me it give me good good wives as a jerked up individual sitting at the table see, seeing basically in front of me two kids that were acted like kids very much alive happy uh, and also happy for me, you know. Uh, then I heard completely different subject completely. Um, this was done in front of the Charles. Um, then the grandma and Charles started to view. That's how I felt. They they started to view this money issues through like a sour taste. I got a sour sour taste in my mouth when I realized when I felt like the vibes changed, basically changed. And the first one who grasped on um maybe worries from grandma from father maybe there was concern about views i'm not gonna say intelligent enough but enough um concerned for their views uh, of the picture was william no, William was the the one. William was older also than Harry, whose brain um, altered. So that's just term of schizophrenia. Uh, as if you would pour some vinegar on his brain or something like that and the whole thing started to get totally totally different um the whole different thing started to look completely different in 99 that was bs year as far as them
for me this was the best year okay so I felt that especially because of 96 my saving ass literally to the Western team Americans okay British are something special never mind but otherwise Dutch Norwegians Swedes Germans you're trying to set them up there was no there was not that thing that Charles exercised support for Donald Trump there was no um, you know actually blaming me <laughs> make actually even insisted on how can I say insisted on global European politic through betrayal of now I'm not gonna say Europeans because we are not Europeans for the London for Germans for Americans for the white elites that's not what we are in Eastern Europe uh, so that's why you know at our expense other Eastern Europeans that are however non-Russians through betrayal of us uh, to build a global politic type of attitude so therefore for the sake of their agenda um, I uh, felt this was not a politic for me uh, this was already very filthy politic I didn't want to have nothing to do with it uh, if you want to build something with somebody uh, you have to respect that person you can come to his country steal his home use one as a torture cell as soon get his people killed uh, and try to turn the whole country uh, this basically even take a country from individual through whom you came inside of that country away from individual something in that sense this is a Prince Charles I distance myself from there um, this is not how I see the allies um, just basically as a leverage used at dispose basically disposable allies that is basically create pact with me so I can throw them on a trade table with otherwise someone for whom I deem is enough big opponent I cannot force upon him my global agenda other than through mutual agreement therefore through my betrayal of allies in this case non-russian eastern european states this is not my kind of politic i insisted on ukrainian polish slovak czech slovenian Croat, bosnian sovereign sovereign politic sovereignities and uh, the problem is that this we uh, are too much lean toward the West we give way too much credit for something you know they take them for granted they can do with us whatever they want that's where the problem is uh, I know that that would be also helpful to, for me to clarify for my friends in Ukraine and in Poland and in Slovakia and Czech Republic to understand really how 
where we really stand in the eyes of these people, how they view us. us. Um, this partnership is very, very hollow. <laughs> um, it's a hollow partnership. This is shitty partnership one can definitely not count on. Um, you can count on this partnership only as much as you're capable to defend your national interests um, yourself, basically. Otherwise, uh, this is like this, you know. No. Yeah, you saw what happened with the Crimea. Crimea might be even bigger than Slovenia. Yeah, that's where we would go also for negotiations. People, Crimean people were afraid as hell. They were scared when they saw this Russian team of Putin, Medvedev, Lavrov. They were like a bears over there, all over this Crimea. KGBs would, would gesture, oh, how beautiful, oh. So part of Russia, literally like this. You know, the people would be fucking traumatized. The Ukrainian people, Tatars, they would be traumatized asking also foreign delegates about this issue. Who guaranteed them there would never be anything, nothing to be afraid of. As Charles being number one pilot of this, nothing to worry about. Um... And it was just a really, really peaceful occupation, peaceful invasion from the Russian side uh, that a British witness uh, through uh, very much protesting to military, real military assistance of Ukraine even today in 2021 through the eyes of Charlie, Charles. <laughs> um, I don't know what else I would say to that. Uh, this is pretty good. You, could, you can have a few takeouts here. Uh, as far as reality, as far as real reality about a Buckingham Palace uh, and Merkel's Thomas Merkel, I think his name is Father. This is some kind of that they were some kind of and some kind of distant relative or something. One day something like this is going to come out as a news, whatever. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's all there is. I don't know what I would tell you, um, but thanks for reminding me of something that I did not forget. So if you feel better that you did stress your dirty wash, cause what they were in, they were gesturing in something in ninety nine that you know this this just really considering people without the titles as. Completely, completely unequal. <laughs> this is like, if you're without a title, if you're without a royal title, yeah, this, they see like, uh, like you are, I don't know, a disposable pencil or something like this. I don't know. That's why, um, my view on them changed too because of uh, because everything they try to falsify you know they try to falsify they they try to falsify absolutely turn me in eyes of the world into a complete idiot someone that everything was laid down to the not have any kind of accomplishments everything was thanks to them uh,
everything negative that can come right across your mind that's basically how they wanted to present me as basically uh, yeah, and I also wonder about other issues I did not come to conclusion to but um, probably never will because hopefully it will not happen To have a people like this in as a as a you know host people like this in your country, this is just not a good fucking idea. You're from a small country. These are very dangerous people. You know, this is this is this is the people that might end up leaving you even without your country, without your homeland, basically even your entire population population of your country basically homeless you know charles insisted how they write the destinies of the people of the nations and stuff like that you know that's that's basically how these people see themselves as you know, that's all i wanted to say today is october the 17 2021 uh, just for you to know that, yes, of course I do remember this, at 2019, uh, 1999, and um, I gotta say, really, really not appealing. Um, both this royal, this American royal, and Meghan Merkel, completely not appealing, both of them. Uh, something I don't like to say to the females, really. But hell, man, when you keep uh, doing this to the person, look, and I lost 28 years of life because of you. And because of you, you sponsored cancer operation against me. You sponsored spine-breaking operation against me. Uh, made fun insisted to get me inside a mental hospital that's what you that's what got me inside a mental hospital it was a buckingham palace lost u.s citizenship because of these people literally these people are fucking cancer man this is the worst in this world you want to say whatever you want to say you want to say these are Romanovs in London, or you can say Windsor's Battenbergers from Moscow, whichever way you want to say, uh, they are bad news. Taiwan is about to go 